Fixed Income By fixed income, we refer to bonds and loans. There are bonds issued by governments, corporations, or financial institutions that result in capital flow to impact enterprises or projects that address social or environmental challenges. These could be traditional bonds, for example, municipal bonds, or other types of bonds such as green, social, sustainability, and climate bonds. The key element here is the use of proceeds. The characteristics of these bonds are the same as traditional bonds, and most of the time they yield the same rate as the market. Here are the essentials that you should know about these new types of bonds. Green bonds. They are designed to raise funds to invest in environmental or climate change mitigation projects. Proceeds are exclusively used for legally documented projects that address environmental challenges. Issuers must clearly communicate to investors the environmental objectives and follow mandatory reporting on the use of the proceeds to ensure integrity of the market. Note that even an oil and gas company can issue a green bond. However, proceeds of this bond must be directed to reduce their environmental impact or invest in renewable energy or what we call financing a brown to green transition. Social bonds. Social bonds are designed to fund social impact projects such as education, affordable housing, health care. In 2020, we also saw issuance of pandemic or COVID bonds proceeds, of which are used to finance efforts against infectious diseases. Sustainability bonds are issued to fund projects addressing both environmental and societal challenges. For example, in 2019, Concordia University, based in Montreal, Canada, has launched a sustainability bond to fund building of its applied sciences hub. This $25 million senior unsecured bond pays 3.6% yield and has a 20-year duration. The proceeds of this bond were used to finance the Science Hub, which would be home to 43 new research labs. The new Science Hub is also a LEED certified facility. As you can see, this type of bond contributes both to education and research, as well as to construction of an energy-efficient building. If you are focusing on the bonds market, you should refer to green bond principles created by the IFC, social bond principles and climate bond taxonomy. To learn more about the evolution of the bond market, we invite you to consult Climate Bond Initiative as they are a global champion in this field and provide tremendous amount of information and resources. Within the fixed income asset class, there are also loans which can be issued for small amounts compared to bonds. Impact-driven loans could finance entrepreneurs working on ventures addressing challenges that you wish to solve. For example, through microfinance, impact investors can provide capital to entrepreneurs in the developing markets, which can result in improvement of poverty levels. Some banks started issuing new types of performance loans that are linked to certain sustainability outcomes. For example, HSBC has launched sustainability-linked loans for commercial clients in the U.S. These loans have attributes that include interest payments tied to a borrower's achievement of key performance indicators and associated sustainability performance targets. Examples of these targets include greenhouse gas emissions reduction, use of renewable energy, diversion of waste from landfills and reduced water use, as well as social and diversity metrics like increased workforce diversity. The market for sustainability-linked debt is currently experiencing rapid growth, reaching almost $100 billion in early 2021, according to a report published by Moody's Investors Service.